Hi everyone, thank you so much for stopping by. So today we'll be doing another book review and this is entitled The Kiss of a Demon King. This is written by Cressy Cole and this is book six out of the Immortals After Dark series. Um, I'm going to give you information from Goodreads.com and then I'm going to go from there. So his obsession, Sabine, sources of illusions, the evil beauty who surrenders her body but not her heart, her downfall. Rides from Wode, the ruthless warrior who vows to keep her at all costs. They were never supposed to want each other this much. With each smoldering encounter, their shared hunger only increases. If they can defeat the sinister enemy that stands between them, will Sabine make the ultimate sacrifice for her demon? Or will the proud king lay down his crown and arms to save his sorceress? The categories are paranormal romance, paranormal romance, fantasy, demons, vampires, urban fantasy, adult, magic, witches. And this was um, first published back in January 1st, 2009. So, um, you there are there have been times when it becomes a little bit iffy when you're reading a series, especially when it's like Immortals After Dark. Let me just double check. I know there's like a ton of these, and I'm still on six. <laughs> um, whoa. So this the latest is um book 18 and so yeah it's it's a pretty pretty long series what i've noticed so far though is that the characters are they do have their own personalities it's not like just copy and paste from the previous books um the yeah there's a little bit of similarity to the the sto storyline essentially but not that much that it becomes really redundant it's different in a lot of things but there are some connections because it is a series so there is some kind of connection with the previous characters and future characters that will be spotlighted um i would imagine because that's what happened from the first book for a second third and so on and so on um what I could tell you is that this is definitely one of those spicy, um, uh, it's got some graphic, yeah, graphic, graphic stuff in the story as well. So, um, if you're interested in something like that kind of romance, then this is something for you. This is actually like, this is the type of book that would probably make certain like if you're interested in this kind of book this is something that's written really well it'll make you blush it'll make you like um like your skin can get heated if you're, if you're that type of person like me if i'm reading this type of book i want to be able to react in a sense that my ski my skin heats up um and yeah like i want to be physically affected you know, because what's the point if you're not? So I actually give this a four out of five stars and a two thumbs up. If you guys have other recommendations, because I did really like the reading this book, let me know down in the comment section below. I always love all the recommendations you guys share with me. And as usual, I try as much as possible not to give you any spoilers. Um, if you're into paranormal romance, this so far is a kind of serious, like, it's got everything, you know, it's got witches, it got lichens, demons, vampires, you name it, it has it. And it's a series, it's, it's almost 20 books so far. And I think, I think it's going to keep going. So, and it's, it doesn't disappoint, it doesn't seem to get boring because um, there's always, because it always spotlights different characters per book. And also another trick that I do, like for example, I'm reading this kind of romance. I would, my next book would be something like either if I wanted to keep pace with just romance, then I'll probably do a new adult romance or a young adult romance, nothing paranormal. Um, if not, I'll probably go to my mystery thrillers. Um, and that's how I kind of keep it. I, I kind of keep myself on my toes because if, 
if you keep on just reading the same type of book or like the entire series back to back at some point like for me it becomes really really boring and I'll get sick of it so that I, I try to switch it up and I know there are some people out there that do the same because you could get obsessed in, in like a series or a type of, of genre so what I would suggest is like you got to switch it up you can't just read it back to back as hard as that is to say that's actually what I do so that I don't get sick of it um because there have been series actually that I would just stop and I still have like the rest of the X amount of books but it just it was hard because I was so obsessed with like the first X amount of books and then half of the series I still didn't finish so um yeah if you guys have other suggestions on books I actually do also I'm actually also looking for a ton of um psychological thrillers mystery thrillers suspense types of books because I do have a ton of romance books let me know down in the comment section below I always love hearing from everybody all the time thank you for the love and support and I will see you again next time bye